we are making cranberry sauce. So grab a pan and don't forget to wash your hands. It's fresh cranberries, white sugar, brown sugar, orange juice, and right, you know, so first things first, we're gonna wash off our cranberries and kick out any of the little rotten ones, like that one right there. Let that go. Ew, see that? Y'all want that. Y'all want that. I'm sorry. Wash it out really good. And then we'll be ready. A little over a half a cup of orange juice. We're using one cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna mix this together. Let this sugar liquefy and it will become a sauce. Then we're gonna add our vanilla. We're gonna put in about, about a tablespoon of vanilla. And we just wanna make sure that all of the salt, sure that all of the sugar is all the way melted. All right guys, once it starts to foam up like this, we wanna cut it down. And we're gonna add our cranberries. Being very, careful, being very careful when we add our cranberries because this sugar sauce is very hot, okay? So add our cranberries right on in. It smells really good. heat on medium to medium high heat and we are going to stir these babies you hear the popping that is the cranberries slicing open from the pressure from the heat and releasing a little pectin that's actually going to At create this point, a lot of people like to skim all the foam off for no other reason than for the way that it looks. I'm gonna skim just some of it off and we're gonna be ready to mash. Guys, it has cooked all the way down and our sauce has gotten thick enough. Remember, we're going to let this chill and it's gonna get even thicker. So once it start to hold together like that, Time to take it off. Now, this is absolutely optional. Some people will put theirs in a blender. Some people like to strain it to get all of the skin from the cranberry. Want it to look like it does in the can. You have to use a lot more ingredients and then you can strain it and wait for it to gel up. But we're just gonna do ours like this and we're gonna put it in a cute little pan so that once it comes out, we flip it over and it's super cute. Until next